Welcome back to Naughty or Nice. I'm your host, Brett, and we're taking a look at 12 products leading up to Christmas. And I'm telling you if I think they're naughty or nice. The wind is a gustin' outside. My dog is very upset about that. But what he should be more upset about is that we only have one present left. It's the big one. The final day has arrived. Well, it's currently the smallest. Do you think they make the best presents in small packages or, or big ones? Maybe it's just a gift card to nerf.com. Dear Hatman, Bart. <laughs> I heard you like the gel fire mythic. Oh my gosh, a lot. You know, wet balls and all. So here's something just as moist. Enjoy and happy foam flinging, Johnny Rockwell. Just as moist. I, I don't like that at all. But let's see, what have we got? This has been a long time coming. It's the Nerf watch. And for those of you who have been watching my channel for a bit, you know this has been in the backdrop for a while, but I've never actually talked about it. In fact, I've never even turned it on. It has barely escaped from its plastic prison. And that all changes today. It's the Nerf iTime Unisex Kids Interactive Smartwatch, featuring the watch, micro USB charging cord, and a lot of alleged features on the watch itself. 10 changeable watch faces, changeable wallpaper, alarm, timer, stopwatch, six games, selfie photo, video camera, voice recorder, calculator, and step calorie counter. Retailing at one point for $50 but now for 27 at Walmart. Interactive watch indeed. And when we take it out of the package, you can see on the front once again, we've got all those claims, touch screen, blah, blah, blah. And on the side of the box, camera, calculator, timer, voice recorder, uh, other stuff on the back, other specifics about nerve official. Oh, there it is again. Pedometer, video recorder, alarm, games. Yes, we get it. Oh, and in case you forgot, look, there, there they are again, all listed where the watch initially comes in. Uh, also included in the tray down here, which I <laughs> just took out, a little sheet, some other instructions, a charger, and of course, the watch itself. We don't need this case anymore, but here is what the instructions look like, and I would assume that these are similar to any other instructions you'd get with a similar design, maybe not the Nerf one specifically. So in case you have any questions on what to do, this would be the place to look. Like how to power on and power off. I definitely need that one. But seriously, there's a lot of information in here that I have needed to look over just to make sure that I'm actually, you know, using this correctly, or should I say, uh, don't have a defective product. So let's take a look at the esteemed Nerf watch. You can see you've got Nerf on the band. It's a pretty rubbery feeling, a little texturing in the back, some different slots here. Probably, you know, <laughs> would be better if you're a child. It's not gonna work on most adult-sized uh, wrists, which is why it's a good thing that I'm an adult in a child's body. Okay, but I will take it off just for looking at it. Charge for 30 to 60 minutes before first use and the screen might be blank while charging. Okay, there's a single button on the right and then a USB charging port there. Nothing on the left except for a speaker. Ta-da! Ooh, ready, blast, go. We've got a beautiful watch face there. You can mostly tell what time it is as a result. And now let's uh, let's scroll. All right, there they are. The games, the camera, the video, and the pedometer. The album viewer, time tools, voice recorder, calculator, and settings. You notice how that background makes it a little difficult to see stuff? Yeah, let's go into settings really quick. Ooh, we can set the wallpaper. Oh, those are, those are all pretty busy. Oh, well, well, okay. Set the date, set the time, set storage. And if I hit the button on the side, I'll go back to the home screen. You can see the little battery icon up at the top right. It should be fully charged right now. There are three, oh, wait, no. I thought I charged this earlier. It's already at two bars. Well, oh, great. When I turn it on, it doesn't actually stay lit up for too long. This is not meant to be permanently on, I guess, in an attempt to save battery life, which isn't too surprising, but I think it's already faded a little bit there. Nope, there it goes. How much longer? Yeah, that was pretty quick. The pedometer, I can say I have actually used this on a walk to compare. I typically have a Fitbit 
That is my watch of choice right now, my, my smart watch. Nothing too fancy or too crazy there. You can obviously see that the Nerf watch is a little bit larger overall. Uh, thickness wise, the, the watch from Nerf also takes it. Uh, is the quality better? Hmm, not so much. This one I've had for quite some time and it does a good job counting my steps and mile tracking. And I compared on a walk recently with this tracker and I got a step count of 4,332. I did wear the Nerf watch and the Fitbit at the same time, though for the Nerf watch, you do have to actually hit this play or start, otherwise it won't record automatically, so I can just automatically reset this one. Now it's at zero, and I would need to press go, come on, go, and now it should start recording steps. My Fitbit said I got uh, 5,248 steps. So I guess the Nerf watch just wants me to do more steps uh, so that I can be a better version of myself and get more exercise. Back on this screen, we've got camera and video. I did take a picture in a video recording earlier. Let's see, what, what do we got? Oh, it's my boy. Look at that boy. And what was the uh, video? Does it have the video in here that I took? Come, come on, I, I'm, I'm clicking the arrows. All right, if I just go back now, hit the movie. Hit the, mo the movie, play the movie. There it is. Oh look, I'm reviewing the Gelfire Mythic. Wow, this is a great video. But I know what you wanna see, let's play some games. All right, we've got Snake in the Grass. We've got Number Grid. Fighter Pilot, Memory, Car Chaos, Stone Warp. Dang, there's some great options here. I think we're gonna go with Fighter Pilot because that's pretty intense. Jeez, I, I can barely read that. I don't know if you can see much of that. I just screw it, play. Oh my, <laughs> um, I am playing Fighter Pilot on the Nerf watch. Wow, my finger, oh, it takes up quite a bit of the screen so I can control this guy. I'm automatically firing. These guys are trying to kill me. Cool, cool. Wee, wee. There's music. How long do I have to play this? Did I die? All right, that's enough of that. Let's try snake in the grass. We'll do a simple snake game. A bat, no, just do single. Oh, oh geez, the music. Oh, that is bad. Hey, how do I? Um, how do I turn the snake? He's, he's doing great. Okay, down. There we go. Yeah. Ugh. Nope. Oh, okay. I think I've seen enough. The calculator. Perfect. Let's say, uh, nine times six. 54. The math checks out. Time tools. Alarm. Uh, stopwatch. Okay, let's try that. Let, let's try, let's try the, <laughs> come on, play. Oh, there we go. Go, okay. I mean, if you're trying to use this quickly, maybe not ideal, but hey, look at that. It sure is counting the time. All right, pause. All right, pause. Okay, come on, pause, please. Come on, just, just. Timer, okay, let's see if that's any better. Wait, we got 30 seconds. Can I adjust the, can I, can I adjust? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, we can do like an hour. Battery would probably die. <laughs> Come, can we adjust? Oh, you have to click on the top to scroll. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, it's working. A timer, a functional timer on the Nerf watch. All right, is it going to make an annoying sound? Let's find out. Okay, yes it does. Oh shoot, how do I stop it? No, no, go back. All right, screw it, let's try the voice recorder. Start, play, record, record. Hello, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and this is the Nerf watch, the best product ever produced by Hasbro. Saved. All right, let's play it. That was awful, <laughs> jeez. Okay, uh, the video recording had better audio than that. 
Oh, that's right. If you hold the front, it changes what the face looks like. So here, let's go through those beautiful watch faces again. Ready to win. Nerf Nation. Oh my god, can you even see what time it is with that? Hold it again. <laughs> At least that one's just a digital call out. Still kind of hard. That one might be the easiest to see. Although it's uh, orange and white. Like the, the other dial is just hard to see with that background. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Make some noise. <laughs> Ready, blast, go. Game over. That's some beautiful yellow right there. And uh, don't know what's going on there, but it's a Nerf logo. And there's the one I had before. I will need to connect through this USB port to see if I can get off any of that footage. But, um, I mean, it hasn't died on me yet. And so we have reached the end. Our final item, the Nerf iWatch Interactive Kids smartwatch. Is it naughty or is it nice? Well, I think I knew where this was going before I even reviewed it. However, however, it has delivered on all of its promises. Has it delivered well? Ah, uh, that's up for debate. Do I like the interfaces on it? Do I like all the graphics? Uh, some more than others. Are the games interactive? Does it count my steps? So far, I can use it. It also fits on my wrist, which is kind of funny. It's like it was made for me. I looked more into what other people were saying about these watches because there aren't too many reviews for the Nerf specific brand, but there are a lot of similar tie-ins with other properties. And it seems like the biggest complaint is that some literally don't power on. You charge it and it doesn't work. Or after a month, it stops charging, it doesn't work. Well, mine works currently. Not to belittle other people's purchases, this is my Nerf watch. Not an expensive watch, a budget watch for children like me. It's nice. That's the nicest Nerf watch I own. Oops. If it breaks on me, it's going in the naughty pile. Absolutely, I'll burn it, I'll set it on fire. Uh, actually, I shouldn't do that. I also can't find it anymore for 50 bucks, which is what I thought it originally costed, but now it's like less than that everywhere I look. So, for what I paid, I guess I can't be too upset. What a twist. Wow. The holidays really do give us the gifts that we didn't deserve from the family and friends that we love. Luca, can you come here, please? Love me. I guess the real naughty or nice gifts were the friends we made along the way. At least, that's what Luca thinks, and that's what I'm sticking with. Happy holidays, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this series. I now have a bunch of crap and I guess I'm gonna have to use it all in a game. So that should be interesting. Take care, everyone. It just stopped working. You're not going on the naughty list. I defended you. You're going in the ground.